to accommodate a preferred tool, keeping going with a small problem. After Duncan was clean from the inside and out, he had to stay in the siding for the rest of the day. He knew Sweet Bell can draw the morph spell to drive him, but it couldn't make him warm. He felt very cold. And the rain fell more heavily. What had begun as a, as a worse day began to go worse. I wish I was in my nice warm shed, he said to himself miserably. Spike came up. We're camping in this house over there. It's called a clubhouse. Don't worry about some worse suburbs. Which we're in. I think as long as we stay hidden, some people live here won't bother you. But I can't sleep outside at night, said Duncan. What with some more suburbs? Why in I need to sleep in a shed? Well, here's one for you. You'll be fine. So we put Duncan in a shed and they went to bed. He slept badly that night. He was wondering about how the worst people would do cruel things to people when they come in a worse suburb. He think it dreadful. He also wondered about when they don't have a curve of his book. He think it cruel at all. Next morning, they got Duncan ready. They got Hudson. They got in his cab and set off again. They were glad to get Hudson for the worst suburb. Some people they didn't know saw them leaving. They laughed. Stupid people. One of these days I'll get into trouble. They're not acting their age. A police car they heard came and the police came out to stop the laughter. I called them so they can get them to prison. We can't let them get away with this naughty thing. Thank goodness, driver. Now the houses will have to be abandoned, ready for new people to live in. At last, they came to Perth, and they came to the shed, which was waiting for them. But he was new to the place, and a policeman came up calling. Hello, sir. The policeman didn't say no. He said, you're not meant to go without your driver. You're not breaking the rules. Buzz off, driver. There's no need for you to bother us. We came here because I drove him during a spell, said Sweetabell. Oh, ho, ho! Stupid policeman. After they got rid of the policeman, they said Duncan in this display place. Now then, Duncan, we'll let the workman fix your toilet sword on, said his driver. However, did your joy that I'm sure will keep a secret. Stop the police to know about someone who drove me back sweet about. They wouldn't believe a pony can drive me. 
even if I could.